Okay, it's about six o'clock. Joe and I are just getting on the road. It's about 11 hour drive. We're heading down to Kentucky, so we're pulling an all nighter, but it'll be worth it once we get down there. So hopefully this trip goes smoothly and quickly and we'll be down there before we know it. Joe and I made it to Kentucky finally. We drove all night and we're gonna scout out this public land this morning just so we can kind of get a grasp at what it's like down here. Uh, there's a bunch of ag fields around here so we're hoping that the deer are just bedded around those fields and we can kind of sneak our way through and find the sign and maybe come back to the spot and set up on it. Okay, we've been out of the truck for like five minutes, not even. We've already seen a really big set of buck tracks. We came up to this field and there's a few deer out there, but really can't see them that good. Can't really tell what they are. I know there's at least two though, but I don't know if there's anything else or not. Okay, it just got set up here. I got the a uh, creek to my back where there's a real heavy trail. The wind's blowing across the creek, so that works out good for me. And then in front of me, there's a couple lanes that are cut. And this morning we saw a buck in here. It wasn't a shooter, but it's a start. So hopefully another one will do the same thing because he was just straight out in front of me. Uh, it was a little bit of a fiasco getting in here. The creek rose up, rose up a lot from when we scouted this morning, so we had to take our boots off and it was cold to say the least but we're in here Joe's a little ways away hopefully one of us can, can get one on the ground there's sign all over in here so you never know Maybe within the next 15 minutes a bigger one will walk by. Okay, we 
just got set up. It is 11 o'clock. The spot this morning was a complete bust. There was almost no deer sign, so we just decided to cut our losses and head back to the spot where we've had a couple encounters. Uh, the first night I was probably 100 yards away and had an encounter with a shooter. And tonight Joe's across the field for me, so hopefully between one of us we can cover this field. We're probably going to shoot a doe. We're getting down. We have a day and a half left and tomorrow's supposed to be rainy, so. We're not going to be quite as picky on the deer. I don't know. We're still not going to shoot any little bucks, but we might, we might shoot a doe, so. Hopefully one comes out. If not, we're going to be sitting here the rest of the day, so. we got a long, warm sit ahead of us, so. Hopefully it's a good one. lunch. Figured we'd be sitting all day. Got Cheez-Its, fruit snacks, granola bars. So. And I packed a cookie but I already ate that for breakfast because I was hungry. So. Should be enough to tide us over until supper time. Hopefully we'll have deer tonight. Well, sitting here for a couple minutes and look up in the woods and here comes a deer right at me. And I'm to the point of the trip where I said I'd shoot a, a doe and it was a big one so I shot her. She was right under me. I don't know if the big camera got her but the tactic cam should have so either way we got a deer on the ground in Kentucky. Let's go. We've been waiting for this all year. I am pumped. I know she crashed right up there. I smoked her. I don't know how much longer we'll sit. It's real warm out. We might call it a day here, but that was awesome. That was the first deer I shot with the bow all year, so yes, yes, I'm pumped. I am pumped. That is awesome. She was five yards. She, I think she smelled me, but she started turning back around to go the other way and I got one right in her. She was pouring out blood, so let's go. Probably get down and track her here soon. All right, just got down. I'm gonna track her, get her gutted out since it's warm. She's got, I heard her crash right up here. I'm gonna drag her in the shade and hopefully Joe can get one. I smoked her double lung. Is, there's a lot of blood. half my arrow penetration all the way up to the fletchings she's got to be dead right up here I'll just stick this right here
there she is. Dead right in the field. Pretty good sized doe. That's awesome. That's my first my first ever out of state deer, so it's a good state to do it in. Kentucky's been awesome. I've been seeing a lot of deer. Finally got it done, so I'm gonna get her gutted, put her in the shade, and then I guess hunt the rest of the afternoon so maybe Joe can get one too. Okay, the sun just went down over the trees. It's still it's only like 4.15, so there's still about an hour, hour and 15 until sunset, but hopefully now that it's starting to cool down, it was supposed to get up in like 60s today, but right now he's probably dropped back in the mid 50s, low 50s. It's starting to cool off fast now that that sun went behind the trees. So hopefully Joe gets a doe or one of us will get a buck. That would be awesome if we could shoot two in one night, but if not, we, we got our work cut out for us tonight anyway. We're going to take care of my deer, get it quartered up and everything, and we'll be eating good tonight. I am getting a little sick of soup, so it worked out perfect. All right, that's about gonna do it for our Kentucky trip. We still got about 15 minutes left, but I figured I'd close it up now. If I see anything else, I'll show that to you. But overall, it was really good. We saw a ton of deer. Joe and I have been playing in this for quite a while, and we called around to some different people to kind of get an idea of what we're getting into, and they all told us this time of year was probably the worst you could come to, but it's our Thanksgiving break at school. This is the only time we could come, and we tell you what, for it's supposed to be being a bad time. We we saw a ton of deer. I'd love to come here when it's supposed to be good because I imagine there'll be deer running everywhere. I uh, definitely would recommend Kentucky to whoever is looking for uh, publicly in the hunt. Hopefully this won't be my last time here. I know Joe and I will plan another trip here. Maybe in a year, maybe in two years. We're not sure yet. But it was a good time and Definitely looking forward to getting home just because it's Pennsylvania's rifle season soon, so. Still got a lot of hunting ahead of us this year. Hopefully we can get another nice buck on the ground.